Hi everyone, Lisa Haven here, and I came across some very critical information that you're gonna to wanna to take a look at, but I discovered it on John Greenwald's theblackvault.com, and as many of you know, he often submits via the Freedom of Information Act to get certain things unclassified by the government. Well, in this case, he's managed to get his hands on the government Wikipedia, if you will. So it's basically their source for well, kind of like our Wikipedia, but on steroids. Now, the actual name that the government gives it is Intellipedia. But what I'm about to show you is going to unveil some pretty crazy stuff and maybe conspiracies come to life, uh, which many of which we know already exist. Area 51, MK MKUltra, uh, UFOs even. I'm going to get into that. But please hold fast because you're going to want to see this report and I'll uh, delve into it with you. So here is details on that. All right, so for starters, here we are on the blackvault.com, and you can see um, I'm here on Intellipedia entries, and the link can be found above, and I will leave it in my information box here on YouTube as well. Uh, but you can see it was just released very recently, but you guys are gonna love um, some of the things in here. But what is Intellipedia? It is an online system for collaborating data sharing used by the US intelligence community. It was established as a pilot project in 2005 and announced in April 2006 and consists of three wikis running on JWICS, SIPR Net, and IntelliLink U. The levels of classification allowed for information on these wikis are top secret, secret and sensitive but unclassified FOUO info, respectively. They are used by individuals with appropriate clearances from the 16 agencies of the intelligence community and other national security related organizations, including combatant commands and other federal departments. The wikis are not open to the public. Now, keep in mind that the wiki information that we're getting is very minute and minuscule as compared to what actually um, the government actually has. But you can read the rest of this if you want. But I wanted to show you first uh, what the inter Interpedia document it's itself. So let's go there. Here's just the unclassifying of it, but you can see this is it here. But what is it? Basically, it is the government's Wikipedia, uh, Intellipedia versus Wikipedia. Here's the differences there. Uh, anyone can edit on Wikipedia. This one is only logged in users can edit this particular one. And this is, is used by the government. Obviously, this is our online source. Uh, but it just kind of gets into how to get the article, uh, how to do it, how to make your own user page. So you can see it's very geared toward the various agencies within uh, the governments there. But um, kind of that's it in a nutshell, not much to that. But what I want to focus on are what are some of the categories that can be found in this particular uh, source because they say that they are top secret classified types of stuff that they have in this Intellipedia um, source here. But I'm going to leave this because uh, I'm going to move on from here and I'm going to get into the sources, but I'm going to leave this if anybody wants to check it. But that's the last page here. All right. So back to the main page here uh, where it goes into some of well, the, the, the classifications or information that they had. And here's what they have. They have information in their Intellipedia on Area 51. Now, this is one, obviously, I had to click on because what are they going to tell us about Area 51 here? Well, it turns out not much. Uh, <laughs> only This is the only page they give us here on Area 51. Obviously, the rest is classified. We can't get that. But needless to say, um, we know uh, it talks about breakfast and lunch and the price and uh, dining facility at Fort Bliss, Texas, Area 51, uh, whatever. <laughs> so anyhow, not much there on that particular topic, but here at least they have admittance to it and uh, artificial intelligence. This is interesting. Uh, this one is something that uh, I've often talked about in my studies, but we all know there is an AI battle, if you will, going on and the government is really, uh, you know, working with artificial intelligence. Here we have mach man, machine, science, robotics, 
Mike's voice recognition. This is something that Google is already using. Uh, but here's the different classifications here. Uh, AI in myth, fiction, and speculation. But keep in mind, everything that they are allowing us to see at this point is probably, um, well, nowhere near where they're at now. Uh, but that one's from 2016, I think, like some of the info on that, maybe even uh, more recent on some pages. But we have the Bay of Pigs. Uh, for those of you who don't know what that is, it gives even a little info on it. Um, or down a little bit, but it says it refers to an inlet of the south coast of Cuba where the CIA landed roughly 1,500 anti-Castro Cuban parliamentary volunteers on April 1961. The government of Fidel Castro responded swiftly uh, to the invasion and crushed it after three days of fighting. So a lot of you are familiar with this, but that is what... Um, the Bay of Pigs, so there's a mission that Benghazi, that's a good one. Bent Spear, Broken Arrow, these are names that the government uses for particular programs. Camp X, uh, Council Pro, we have Continuity of Government, uh, Dual Sword Echelon, uh, we know about that one. Edward Snowden even has his own Intellipedia file. Uh, and here we have the famous, that's interesting, why even dub it that, but the famous Freemasons. Well, let's click on that report uh, so you guys get an idea. But basically, I've, I've actually read through all 15 pages of this, but um, here it starts here. And all it is, is it says, who are the Freemasons, uh, what they're about, what they do, uh, and all of that. There's another one. Where is it? Ah, here it is. Uh, this is another one on the site. Let me go back. Here we go. Uh, but again, it says, who are the Freemasons? Uh, what they, what their history is, uh, what they're about, their organized structure. So this is just a bio on the Freemasons. And then here is more information. I guess it includes some of the names of uh, some of Freemasons. These people were all Freemasons. We have Edward E. Buzz. He was an astronaut and second man to set foot on the moon. Benedict Arnold, uh, a Freemason. We have Lawrence Bell. I mean, these names are are very high up. If you guys, I encourage everyone to go through these, but these are all some admitted Freemasons. William Clark from Lewis and Clark. Uh, William P. Chrysler, founder of Chrysler. Huh, interesting. Samuel Clemens, uh, Ty Cobb, Nat King Cole, Samuel Colt. And these are all famous Freemasons, but you can see how Freemason, I believe is division of the Illuminati, but you can see how they promote their people within their own. And these are people of authority here in America, but obviously uh, it's something to be reckoned with. But here we have a file on the Freemasons via the government keeps this on them, but it also has a file of who exactly is a Freemason. Uh, but here's some more General Ford. We know that Henry Ford, Benjamin Franklin, uh, Clark Gable, James Garfield, J uh, John Glenn Jr. Um, moving on. Some of these are hard to read. John Hancock, uh, Oliver Hardy, J. Edgar Hoover. I said a moment ago, Tim Horton, Sam Houston, um, Andrew Jackson, Edward Jenner, Andrew Johnson, Captain John Paul Jones. Uh, this is just crazy, but um, they need to list some more up-to-date names. Like I know there's more in addition to this, but they're just listing some of the famous people that they have pushed. J.C. Penney, hmm. uh, James K. Polk, Paul Revere, Will Rogers, Franklin D. Roosevelt, Theodore D. Roosevelt. These are all these are presidents here. Uh, Joseph Smith, founder of the Church. Oh my gosh, if you're a Mormon, um, this should be a problem. Just saying, Joseph Smith, founder of the Church of Christ of Latter-day Saints. There's your proof. This is in government documents, folks. Harry Truman, Voltaire, uh, Booker T. Washington, George Washington, which we knew, and he even wrote a letter. If you guys Google George Washington's Illuminati letter, uh, you'll come across some. Brigham Young, we have there, another Mormon there. Uh, but there you have it. Those are some of the names of the famous Freemasons. And uh, then it gets into FBI, Surveillance, Freedom of Information Act, Freemasonry 
itself, that's that document I showed you a moment ago. Uh, chart room, there wasn't too much in that one. JFK assassination, MK Ultra mind control. Now this is something I've done multiple reports on. Uh, MK Ultra mind control exists. They've changed the name of this project project over and over again, but it is something the government admittedly has done. Uh, reportedly, they've stopped, and uh, but then come to find out, it's just done under a different name. This happens repeatedly over and over again. Uh, Nevada test site nuclear incident, nuclear uh, weapons accident, hmm. Operation Garden Plot, another one that I've gone over. Uh, Operation Mongoose, all of these. Op Project Looking Glass, that's an interesting one as well. Uh, remote Viewing, this is one that I've gotten into hardcore on fbivault.gov. They have lots of information on remote viewing and uh, it's, it's disturbing to say the least, but they're actually making, not necessarily an army, but um, admittedly, they have people who do remote viewing into other countries and things like that. It's just crazy. But I've read all, not all, uh, but a chunk of the reports on that that they have done. And it's just, it's crazy. Uh, but you can see the rest here. Uh, moving on, they said that they don't have any records for these or... Uh, there was no records or response for these particular things. So they weren't given anything on fossil fuel, on New Age, on Noah's Ark. I thought that was interesting that he did ask, uh, you know, um, giant, uh, faded giant, uh, psychic powers. They actually do have information on that in other departments, but why they didn't leave it this time, I don't know. And the Rockefeller Initiative. Well, there you have it. I thought it was interesting just to share that with all of you because I find it fascinating that they have their own Wikipedia, so to speak, via the Intellipedia. And it's coming to surface now and uh, just some great information on it uh, for everyone out there. So make sure you check out all that and I'll leave links below. Uh, to the website as well. Anyhow, uh, please make sure you check out my partner here at getthetea.com. He has D365, great detox. If you're on the run and don't have time to make the tea, uh, then this is a great must. Uh, it also helps as well. I'll go between this and the tea from time to time. Also, the Ali C, another great product there that I really like, but make sure you're keeping your body healthy. Um, also, um, at havenshealth.com. Uh, I have a website, the Protovite is available on there, another one of my favorite products, uh, but it's done amazing things for my father, for myself, for my husband, for my son even. Uh, these are some of the things that, well, help me get through everything that I do here. So uh, amazing products. And I'll leave uh, information to getthetea.com and havenshealth.com. Well, thanks again for tuning in here to my channel. If you like what you heard, please subscribe and share it. Uh, my channel is doing some amazing things out there and I'm thankful to all of you who continue to share the reports because uh, without you guys, we wouldn't be able to get the truth out. So thanks again for tuning in. This is Lisa Haven signing out out.